fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkoff for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Push, push, push. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he hurt belly jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Lee goes for the head kick. No dice. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That kick blocked by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop him. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Back to his feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Back and forth we go here! Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end, and how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're going to certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already going to be called in here. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through High-level strike. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Big kick. Beautiful leg kick, bro. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Single collar tie now. Oh, he connects there. His hands look good to me. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to be without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Beautiful kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Nice leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment. Of Back with that off with DC hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Great punch landed with so much power. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice. Rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach, and certainly is making it count this one. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, oh! He's hurt. He him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, dominant position for him here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to tag armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Every time these guys come together, man, you just get a beautiful takedown win. This might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard.
ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, single. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard, nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off. Move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to you. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to go hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of controlling positions. You're not going to roll around and scramble to get this guy off of you. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and find that choke. And if you're not careful, he will latch onto an arm when you think you're right about to escape and get you with the arm ball. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Unable to connect with the right hook. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner of knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.